can you heal your mind? This is an idea which the Western psychologists are not in favor of. They recommend to you to go to a counselor or to a psychoanalyst and speak out your problem. But we all know that mind has the capacity to heal itself. We have experienced instances where the mind heals itself, heals its pains and anxieties and regain normalcy. By observing the ways the mind heals itself, we can learn many methods of healing the mind consciously depending on the kind of sickness it is suffering. What makes the mind sick? Conditions experiencing psychological pain and uneasiness. The suffering comes in form of despair, joylessness, meaninglessness, self-guilt, self-hatred, psychological fear, anxiety and loneliness. The world is full of things that make our mind hurt. Mind being a sensitive organ easily falls sick due to various situations it faces. In such instances, we simply allow the suffering to grow inwardly. We think time will heal the mind. But if you know the methods of self-healing, you can heal the mind easily. In this presentation, I shall explain three such mind healing practices. But before coming to them, there is a necessary step to be taken in order to prevent your mind from being hurt, being affected by the negative conditions. When confronted by a hurting condition, you can prevent the mind being hurt by closing the mind. You say to yourself, I am not going to suffer from this incident. I keep my mind unaffected and I respond to it mindfully with my best senses. For instance, suppose somebody blames you unreasonably and you say to yourself, no, I am not going to suffer from this. This means you select not to suffer. A challenge or a problem demands your action, not your suffering. No amount of suffering is going to resolve the problem. Only action can resolve it. Now coming to mind healing methods, I am going to explain you three basic approaches. They are healing through relaxation and quieting the mind, healing through insight, and thirdly, healing through the grace of nature. Let's take first healing through relaxing and quieting the mind. Suppose you go through a turmoil, internal conflict, a life threat, a loss, a defeat. It produces suffering in form of anxiety and tension. The first step is to relax physically and mentally. Completely relax. Sit on a chair or lie down on the bed comfortably. Suggest to yourself, I let go all my pressure of mind. I completely empty my mind. I relax myself. As your body relaxes, let your mind calm down. Listen to the silence outside and inside. Rest in this position until your tension and anxiety settle down. Sometimes you may fall asleep. If so, sleep. On a week, you will find refreshed and renewed. In this way, you can heal yourself mentally. Second practice, that is healing through insight. Sit comfortably 
turn your attention inward. Keep observing the movements of your thoughts going in the mind. Watch the rising and falling of thoughts. Watch how thoughts jumping from one to another. How thoughts going round itself. How thoughts building up problems and tensions. You watch the thoughts passively, without involving, without judging. You just be aware of your thoughts. When a sad thought comes, no, a sad thought is arising. When an angry thought arises, no, an angry thought is arising. When a disparate thought arises, no, a disparate thought is arising. This passive but alert observation brings insight into the whole problem. It reveals deep causes of the problem. Also what the problem expressing itself without trying to escape from it. Face it directly. If suffering arises, suffer. Listen to the message of the suffering as you go on passively watching the problem. Deeper and deeper, at a certain point, you will gain complete insight into the problem. And with that insight, the problem disappears. This means a mental problem arises and continues as long as you are ignorant of it. The moment you completely understand it, it vanishes. So by analyzing, exploring into the causes of it, you gain the insight into it and thereby you resolve the problem. The third practice is healing through the grace of nature. As you all know, nature can heal our mind. We all know how the mind heals itself when we are in a natural surrounding through the grace of nature. Nature heals us. When sitting by the side of a river, walking beside a lake, watching the sunrise in the morning, gazing at the sky at night, the problem dissolves away by being open to the surrounding. When the mind is suffering from anxiety, loneliness or negative moods, it is in a state of distortion that is out of harmony with nature. To the extent we separate ourselves and distance ourselves from the rhythm of nature, uneasiness and sorrow begins to grow like a darkness. The natural balance is lost. When you are in a natural environment, the lost harmony comes back. In this way, you can discover many ways of healing the mind. To have a healthy and vibrant mind, you need constant self-healing, such as the practices we mentioned before.